Hi, I just wanted to tell you for the CTC, I have successfully inputted the shoe training or the shoe and uniform training or the uniform training. Three options. And I'm going to tell you how I collected the information so that you can be sure that it will be correct. Firstly, um, when I first spoken to you, I told you to enter uh, shoes or or uniform. Well, I did say uniform, but afterwards I'm thinking, hmm. You should put uniform down as well, but some people are training both, you see, so shoes and uniform. And when you do this, um, this will take the data when I put down tag. And so on this line, it will change, you see, you can see here. And so when this happened, the bridge will be picking up the information. And then as I was doing washing up, I was thinking, won't it be a lot of work for you to check everybody who is being trained? Surely there must be an easy way for you to do this to save time. So therefore I went on to your shoe fitting list and your school wear list because all of these have been um, decided who, who, who can fit, you see. So assuming this list is up to date, okay, so these are all the names. What I have done is to collect a list of shoe fitters and school wear that is dynamic, meaning if you change the list from your spreadsheet, this will change as well because it's imported into this file. And then after that, on your name tab, which I use to sort people into the correct tabs, I have put two formulas down. So if they appear on shoes column, which is this one here, it will appear shoes. And then if they appear in uniform, they will be appearing in uniform. But if there is two alike, I mean, uh, if there, if it flag up two, it'll be school and uniform, uni. Yeah, I've, the way I've done it is um, to count how many characters are in these two. So um, 11 will be the combination of these two words and it will f flash up as school and uniform. And if it's like two characters like this all joined, will will be like a dash, really. And then later, I have actually um, done the f um, formulas to look up this list here, so you can be sure it's very accurate. But I I actually thought it's um, good practice just to explain to you where all the data is coming from, because it's like I've told you to um, do something and then later you see the information being filled up for you and you probably wondered what happened. So I thought I'd give you an explanation. And by the way, um, this is actually a very key formula because it actually flick through these tabs. So therefore, I cannot delete this column because if I delete this column, this will disappear. So therefore, I'm just going to hide it. And now all you see is um, the people who have been trained. And if you wanted to have a, um, add somebody to the list, you will have to go back to your original planners, the shoe fitting shoe fitter planner and school wear planner yes i hope um you actually um understand what i'm saying yeah thank you very much um goodbye